I'm Danny Verlant with the Fire Situation Report for Thursday, September 8, 2014, coming to you today from El Dorado County at the King Fire. Today, over 6,600 firefighters continue to battle the major wildfires burning across California. Now, yesterday, firefighters were able to reach full containment on one of those fires, the Black Fire. And as you can see from our statewide fire map, that brings the total number of major wildfires down to 10. Despite the progress, though, several thousand residents still remain evacuated from those remaining blazes. We'll start here in El Dorado County at the King Fire. Now joining us is Battalion Chief Scott McLean. Scott, talk to us a little bit about how big this fire is and what's being impacted. The fire, as you see, is over 70,000 acres at this time. There's 21,000 structures that are threatened at this time also, as well as 2,800 folks that had to evacuate. There's 36, over 3,600 firefighters that are dealing with this fire at this time. Now, why do you think it has grown so quickly in such a short amount of time? As you can see on most of our fires in the state of California, they're topography as well as fuel driven due to the drought conditions. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Scott. We'll switch over to uh, Siskiyou County where firefighters continue to make progress on the destructive Bulls fire in the city of Weed. However, with those, uh, that progress, evacuation orders are still in effect for approximately 1,000 homes, which still remain threatened. The Bulls fire is currently 375 acres and 65% contained. Moving on down to the Courtney Fire in Madera County, thanks to the hard work of firefighters last night, all evacuations were lifted and residents were able to return to their homes. Some road closures do remain in effect across the fire area as firefighters continue to work towards fully containing that blaze. The Courtney Fire today is currently 320 acres and 70% contained. Firefighters are also making good progress against the other fires burning across California, including the Dog Bar Fire in Nevada County, which remains 90% contained. The Irene Fire in Alpine County is currently 85 acres and 15% contained. The Silverado Fire in Silverado Canyon area of Orange County is now 97% contained to just under 1,000 acres. The Happy Camp Complex in Siskiyou County has blackened over 125,000 acres. We've been talking about that one now for several weeks. It's 68% contained. Firefighters are also nearing containment on the July complex in Siskiyou County, which has charred over 50,000 acres on the Klamath National Forest, and they have it 98% contained. The June fire near June Lake in Mono County is now 50% contained at 65 acres, and the National Park Service continues to work towards containing the Meadow Fire, which has now burned under 5,000 acres in the Little Yosemite Valley, which is now currently 80% contained. Today, temperatures across much of the state will be much cooler than they've been over the past week. In fact, in some areas, temperatures will be as much as 15 degrees cooler. Light rains are also expected today in many areas, which will be a nice sight. The cool weather is expected to last through the week, and then a warming trend is expected. Residents across California are urged to ensure they're ready for wildfire by having an evacuation plan and knowing what to take if a wildfire breaks out in their area. Make sure to learn more at readyforwildfire.org. That's the latest on the fire situation report here in California. I'm Daniel Roland. Have a fire safe week.